here with Russell Wilson. Thanks so much for the time. Welcome to Denver. You brought some uh, beautiful weather for us. And I have to imagine when, when the trade you know, is announced and you know this is my new reality, you know, thoughts come to mind. How has it matched in, in terms of the experience over the last few months? Well, I think, first of all, the, I had 10 amazing, amazing years, so many amazing experiences. Obviously, winning the Super Bowl, going to two, uh, some amazing uh, you know, just experiences, relationships, and everything else. And you know, Sierra and I opened up a school, all the children's hospital moments. So, you know, those 10 years, you can't compare uh, this situation, you know, the transition yet. Um, but, I, but what I do know is I want to make just as many memories, if not more, here. So I'm excited about the transition. I'm excited about uh, just the, mo the moments and the time, you know, um, and just I think anytime you come to a new location, how can you make an impact? Obviously on the football field, you know, we want to win multiple games. We want to win several, several games, and you just keep winning, keep winning, keep winning. But I think the, the best part about it all is, is the journey, you know, the journey of, uh, learning something new. I feel like a rookie all over again. You know? I, the, the difference is I got about, I don't know, 3,500 days worth of more experience. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> I think the uh, the journey has been the gift. You know, it's just been the greatest gift to be able to start something new and challenge yourself. And, and uh, what a blessing it's been. Is, is there an appreciation uh, when you look at the history of this organization, the quarterback position, John Elway still here, Peyton still uh, around, um, omnipresent in a lot of ways, to, to maybe be that next guy to, to bring something here? Yeah, I think the best part about coming here for me was was the tradition, the winning, the, the culture, the just the vibes of everything that, that, that goes on here. And, and then also, too, obviously the legacy of the great quarterbacks, like you mentioned, John Elway, you know, obviously Peyton Manning. Um, and hopefully I can add to that, you know. So for me, it's, it's, it's about that journey, you know. It's about the gift of being able to play in this game and doing it with everything you have every day. And uh, just uh, doing that and passing along with my teammates, spending extra time after practice, before practice, before the meetings, after the meetings. Um, that, that, that's what makes you great. That's what makes the team great. And so it's about this team. I'm excited. I'm excited to play with this team. And I, like I said, the transition coming here, it's felt just like at home. You know, just uh, it's, it's, been, it's my new home. It's been everything to us. And uh, everybody here has been amazing. Let's get into the nitty gritty uh, of building out this offense with your head coach and, and, and that, that staff. Time on task is, is really the only way to, to get continuity and chemistry. But you also are playing with urgency. You guys want to do something this season. Are there tools, are there things you can do to try and expedite that process so when you hit week one, you're able to have the command that you would have that you've been playing in an offense for a lot longer than what's only been a few months? Yeah, well, I think that, first of all, you got to love the game. I and mean, we, we definitely have that as players. You know, second thing is, is I think that you gotta, you got to try to understand the game fully, know the whys of football, and three, you got to go execute it. And with those three things, I think we can do that. We've got a lot of amazing talent. Um, we're really excited about it. Obviously, Coach Hackett's been one of the best offensive coordinators in the game as, as of late, and just he's brilliant. Uh, his leadership really helps too. But I think I think it's, it's got to be a player-led team, I and mean, we got to go in there and learn as much as we can. We're having early morning workouts just on our own, kind of just going through stuff and you know, in post post stuff that we're going through. So after practice, so that that quality time uh, bonding and also talking about ball um, is really the greatest separator we can create. What do you think it says that the last two quarterbacks to to win a Super Bowl were in their first year with an organization about what's what's possible? Yeah, I think that when you play on great teams, anything's possible, you know. And obviously, uh, you know, I've been forced to play on some great teams before, and obviously, you know, playing here is another fo great freaking football team. So I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about that. So you know, the defense is amazing. Our offense can be amazing too. We're excited about it. Um, it's it's going to be collective effort, and we're we're excited about playing ball together. As a competitor, uh, obviously, every team you know provides a challenge. But your new environment, you played in the NFC West, so you got a taste of it when it was loaded. The AFC West this year, from top to bottom, quarterback position on through, um, is as stacked as we've seen it in, in recent years. But what level of excitement does that that give you as you get ready to uh, to try and you know take this division? I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, it's time to play ball. That's what I'm about. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, appreciate man. it, yeah, Russell. Appreciate Great it. Good to Broncos. see you. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.